Hello and welcome to a very special Cinema Sins Sins video. But how special is it? Well, it is in fact so special that it will not feature any sins of anything. It is so special that the integral concept that makes all the videos of this channel what they are, it's just, it's just gone. No more of that. The thing that you're subscribed for is not here. Why are you even here? This, this isn't, this isn't why you're subscribed to this channel. It can't be. There are no sins. You, you're, you're here for sins. Why are you even, go, go. This isn't why you're sub, leave. There's nothing here for you. But what will we be doing instead of sinning? Today, we are going to be diving in to my YouTube analytics. So let's, so let's get to it. It is time to dive in to my analytics. Analytics, every YouTuber has them. But what are analytics? Analytics are basically a lot of statistics about a YouTube channel that tell you stuff about it. These are things like views, traffic sources, watch time, revenue, that's the one that everyone seems to be interested in. For some reason, lots of people seem to care about how much YouTubers make. And I'm about to put that question to rest by telling you how much money I make. And I'm sure that's, that's the one that everyone cares about. Me. To be fair, the data I give could be extrapolated to larger YouTubers. So let's, let's, get, this, let's get this shit on the road. Now, there is a lot of fun stuff to be found in analytics. You've got your dashboard here, and then you've got stuff like watch time, views, all of that stuff. The default time period it shows you is the last 28 days. We can change that if we want. But the stuff that I personally find most interesting and most fun is the traffic sources. Traffic sources tell someone basically how people have found their videos. From where did they click that led them to my video? For instance, if you look at my traffic sources for the last 28 days, you can see that the most popular traffic source is YouTube search, with 5,000 people finding me via a YouTube search, then suggested videos with 1,700 people, YouTube channels with 1,305 people, and browse features in at fourth with 569 people. Ha ha, 69. And now this video has been really very informative so far, hasn't it? It's been, you know, just nice, lots of information and concise, informative, almost educational ways. It's time to put an end to that. Let's, let's just start fucking about, because we've got all these statistics in here. Surely, some of them are entertaining. First of all, let's answer that one big question that loads of people seem to have for other more successful YouTubers who aren't me. How much money do you make? Let's go into the revenue tab. In the last 28 days, I made a grand total of three euros and 61 sense. That is like enough for three Mars bars. This is not a sponsor. In the entire lifetime of my channel I've made 19 euros and 39 cents. And my laptop has crashed. Oh it's not, it's back. Yes. Now I've got quite a lot of experience with YouTube analytics because I like to use them quite a lot to see how I can change things. And because of that I know where the fun stuff is. And generally the fun stuff is when you go right to the obscure end of stuff. I'll show you what I mean. When we go to traffic sources, what it by default shows you is the most popular traffic sources by which people find your content. But what if we go to the least popular traffic sources? What if we look at the things that led to people finding my videos once? One individual went down this one unique path that no one else went down to find my videos. Let's see what those paths are. I think Chrome has crashed. Yay. The most popular search queries that led to people finding my videos are things like everything wrong with Kingsman, everything wrong with Rogue One, everything wrong with Deadpool, everything wrong with Madagascar. Happy Llama, Sad Llama. Let's not talk about that. But if we go to the least popular search queries that led to people finding my content, we've got the weird shit. Moose Tube Llama Song. There's something that someone wanted to find for some reason. I want a video that relates to the tags Moose, Tube, Llama, and Song. Because who hasn't looked for that? Mama Malama? Madagascar. What is wrong with me? I now realise that a lot of this video might just be me reading things and then making a confused face. Luma Song. Hand Mushions. What? I just read something deeply concerning. Oh, it's in, oh, it's in there more than once as well. Someone has found me with the search query twice. Shrek nude. Okay, a, a few questions. Who is... 
who and why? Here's a good question. Who is searching for Shrek nude, seeing Cinemason sins, everything wrong with everything wrong with Shrek, which is, I assume, the video they're clicking on, and then going, ah, yes, this should be what I want. Who is swayed from their Shrek pornography by me? That makes me deeply, not, not uncomfortable, like, I genuinely couldn't give a shit, but if, if I could, you know, if I hadn't been desensitised to weird shit by the internet, I imagine it would make me deeply uncomfortable. Oh, here is, here is the big daddy of all weird search queries that have led to someone finding me just, just the word, single word, just the word, nude. Why? 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 There are so many questions that are raised by this. Why, first of all, am I a relevant result for that search? Why, why, when someone types nude into the YouTube search bar, do I appear in any capacity? Surely, you know, I am not relevant to nudity. I understand that maybe, like, the Shrek video might appear for that, because it has the word nude in the description. But, why, why am I so relevant to nudity that people can find me via the search just the one word, nude? Mm. Secondly, who again, is just, is searching for nudity, and then going, ah, oh, this is what I'm looking for. Cinema Sin Sins. Why? Why? Who? Mm. Three. Th third thing. Who is just typing nude into the YouTube search bar? Who? I mean, I'm guessing, you know, that's, that's, that's people looking for porn, right? You know, those people are looking, looking to find some porn. But who, when looking for porn, just goes, I want vague nudity. I don't give a shit who how, what situation, what they look like, gender, age, anything. I just want vague nudity. If they're naked, I will be happy. For whom, that's correct use of whom, I hope, for whom is nude the only criteria they have when looking for pornography? I want someone to be naked. Beyond that, who is looking for that on YouTube? YouTube deletes videos with nudity in them because that goes against their terms of service. There is a story here. And I don't want to know it. Someone searched for re-uploaded everything wrong with Deadpool. What? Why do you want that? The original is still up. Ryan Reynolds, everything wrong with Deadpool. Things wrong if The Incredibles. Watchmen in minutes. You know, I like Watchmen, but I do wish that the time it takes could be expressed in a quantity of minutes. Everything Griya about Ryuge 1. Everything wrong with Iuge 1. Coming this summer to a theater near you. EU Gay 1, a Star Wars story. So I think that's enough for weird search queries, although there are a lot more in there. Let's see what else we've got. Demographics, what are my demos? So my main demo is male between 25 and 34 years. You, you guys are... Mm. After that there's male but a bit younger, also male but a bit older, male but quite a bit younger, male but quite a bit younger, and then female but a bit younger, female but quite a bit younger, and female but the same age. Those are those are my top demos. You know, female but quite a bit younger. That's that's one of my top top demos right there. Also, I've got a lot. I've got a lot of uh, men over sixty-five, but no, no women over sixty-five. Zero point zero percent are women over sixty-five. Where are all my over sixty-five women at? Don't take that sentence out of context. So those were my YouTube analytics. I would personally love to see some other YouTubers reveal theirs as well. I hope you've enjoyed this experience. I will see you next video. Go goodbye. For those who don't know, I'm starting a new channel. On this channel, I'm going to put videos like this, along with comedy skits and a whole bunch of other humorous stuff. If that's the kind of thing that you think might float your boat, then please click the link on screen now. There aren't any videos in this channel yet, unless of course you're watching this video in the future, which is entirely possible, but if you'd like to go and subscribe to the channel anyway, I would be fine with that.